Hey guys, welcome back to another video here at Slippy Slides. So in this one, we'll be taking a look at how Nemesis from Resident Evil 3 Remake works off camera, much like we did with the Tyrant, otherwise known as Mr. X from Resident Evil 2 Remake. So, to start off with, we're going back to his grand entrance at Jill's apartment. Now, I'm sure a lot of you, especially if you've seen some of my other behind-the-scenes videos, will have probably already guessed Nemesis is fairly scripted during this game, unlike Tyrant, who we found walks the halls of the RPD. So, Nemesis often just spawns behind walls or wherever he needs to be. In this case, if we rewind, we can see he spawns just as we answer the phone. So, knowing that Nemesis spawns practically just before every scene he enters may be a bit of a letdown. It also made it pretty difficult to create this video as we don't see much of him off camera. However, there are a couple of interesting topics I'd like to cover. For instance, how his parasitic tentacle works. For example, during the car park scene, if we take too long to get Ethan's car started, where does this thing come from? As you'll see, quite often, the tentacle is not attached to his body. In fact, sometimes, you'll see later in the video, his body isn't even present. <laughs> Alright, so that kinda sums up how Nemesis enters most of the scenes, but it doesn't explain where he comes from originally. A lot of the time, characters who are entering scenes at some point can be found somewhere out of bounds, whether that's way outside the map, floating in the void, or hidden behind something like an object or building that the player wouldn't normally be able to see behind. What I'm going to do now is give you a little behind the scenes info of what I sometimes do when creating these videos. So, in the top right corner is a simple script I wrote that gives me the coordinates for the camera. As you can see, when I move Jill, because the camera is moving as well, the coordinates change. And with a couple of other scripts running alongside this, I'm able to manipulate and change these however I like. Which is partly how I make these videos in the first place. Now, take a look at what happens when I set the camera coordinates all to zero. No prizes for guessing whose feet these are. Now, I'm not saying this works every time, however, sometimes Characters and objects can be found at the 0, 0, 0 coordinate. And this is something I like to check during different scenes, as, like for in this example, it got me to Nemesis, who I now know is hiding inside the RPD. Moving on to where we're being chased around the streets of Raccoon City, and a number of viewers were asking if I could take a closer look at where Nemesis comes from when he drops out of the sky and jumps back up. Well, funnily enough, you can actually see him dropping out of the sky from the normal camera view if you look closely, although it does happen rather quickly. However, seeing him jump back up can be a little awkward, as he only seems to perform this off-camera. So I just wanted to show how high he goes when doing this, so here it is frame by frame. It's 
me he's after. Hey. I'll buy you some time. Hey, wait. Wait, Jill. No! Come on, you creepy-ass stalker. You Alright, so as you just saw, surprisingly Nemesis does sometimes have movement off camera, even if it is only a little, and here's another quick example of this. Also during the construction tower scene, it's kind of eerie knowing that Nemesis is never too far away, although one of the more humorous off camera positions I found him in has to be just before the top of the tower fight, right before he bursts through the floor. Check out this Superman pause. Whilst running down the back alleys, I found it interesting that if you run fast enough, Nemesis will teleport to where he needs to be, so long as there's no way for the player to see him. On the other hand, if you do hang around a bit longer to look where he is whilst he's following you, you can make him chase you as expected. Alright, so we're just going to have a look at some of the scenes now where Nemesis appears in them, including this clock tower scene where he changes form, and also the final Ness scenes, where you might be surprised to what's really going on behind the camera. Done me a big favor, Miss.
this point, Nemesis uses his tentacle to try and pull us back towards him. Usually, we wouldn't be able to spin the camera around to look what is behind us. So, what is behind us? As I mentioned earlier in the video, this is one of the moments that we can't see his body, as it's not really needed, so it doesn't appear. Only the tentacle appears on screen. So there we go folks, that is it for this video, as always I really hope you've enjoyed it. Remember if you'd like to know more you can always come and join me on the social media sites listed in the description. I'd also like to give a special thanks to Prey Dog, whose camera was partly used in the making of this and the previous videos. But that is it, until the next time as always, take care.